Welcome to Sokas Malaki, the Man United Nation. And today we're going to talk about the friendly match between Christensen and Manchester United, which was the fifth game in United's preseason tour. And they won it by a goal to nil. United had 74% possession. They literally dictated the pace, had 33 shots on goal, and only scored one goal, which was a literally a penalty taken by uh, Mata after a true pass right through the needle of an eye by Pogba. And Matas brought down and a penalty resulted, which he converted, scoring in the 92nd minute. People say Christensen were robbed. People say United, it wasn't a penalty. The keeper never, the keeper never touched uh, Mata, but Mata went down. But it is what it is. Now, what are the highlights of that game? The highlights, what did we learn from this game? Did we actually learn anything? What we learned was the team that started the first half, Marsh, Martial, Radford, Lingard, were just missing many chances. The, the Christensen goalkeeper was on point. I mean, he was on top form. He, he saved a lot of shots. At the same time, United missed so many chances. Mutomini, he hit the post. Mutomini was playing like a guy possessed, like he's fighting for his position, trying to make people realize, I'm going to be starting when the season begins. If you're watching our videos right now, give us a shout, give us a like, don't forget to share our videos and don't forget to subscribe the button at the bottom right of your video to, to subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. Right, in returning back to the match, United didn't score any goals in the first half. Rush, Rashford missing chances, Lingard missing chances, Martial missing chances, Daniel James converting chances. The only good thing, I would say, even, Chris, even Jones missing chances because he was uh, trying to score another headed goal, was the combination and the link up play between Aaron Wambasaka and Daniel James down the right looked very promising. They looked like they knew what they were doing. They were fast, they were skillful, and they were very attack-minded. And that might be key to United going forward in the new season. But my worry is the left side. Most teams are going to start giving Lou Shaw a problem down the left because he, on the other hand, doesn't cut out crosses. So that might be our weakest link, but we shall see. Let's move forward to the second half. As you know, United chain with Braun Chong, Mason Greenwood, Pogba, Mata, you know, uh, Transibi, and it looked better. But they still couldn't get a goal. Till the 92nd minute, when a beautiful pass from Pogba, this is what we say. Only certain players can make those indecisive passes to open the defence. Yes, it might be against, against Christensen, but... It was a beautiful pass and Matal brought down and a penalty. And which United scored by winning a goal to nothing. So United move on to the next game, which is AC Milan on Sunday at Cardiff. And I think that's the end of the tour for 2018-2019. And the big thing is the Premiership begins very soon. And the transfer window closes very soon, even sooner. Are United going to make any signings? Harry Maguire. Fernandes, Dybala is going to be used in exchange for Lukaku. That's what we hear. We've been hearing, we've been hearing, talk, talk, talk. Negotiating, negotiating. The agent, agent, agency UK, agency UK. It, we've, we, literally, you know what? I'm stop. We Most of us fan channels have stopped talking about this, these transfers because nothing has happened. We've been reporting this to you guys, you wonderful fans out there, for five weeks. And we still are talking about the same thing about Maguire, the same thing about Fernandez, the same thing about, um, who was the other guy? Sean Longstaff. We've been talking about the same thing. Lukaku was going to Inter, now he's going to Juventus, soon he's going to go to AC Milan. Till we see a player sign holding the shirt, we're just going to talk about it. We're not going to be going into all the details because we, we've, heard, we've heard about it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. And don't forget to drop us a comment. I'm Tim Russell. Soccer as we like it. The Man United channel. Bringing you the update of the match between Man United and Christensen. The Norwegian side. And before I forget. No. Uh, uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's son came in. He's a midfielder. He came in to play today and he played well, but he didn't really have enough time to make an impact because he only played for five minutes. And he had his other baby son sitting on the bench in the United Trash. That was so cute. I like that. I thought that was so cute. But for me, our next game is on Saturday, on Sunday at Cardiff in the Wales, which will be Daniel Jones' hometown. And we will be playing AC Milan. If there's any breaking news before that time, be sure 
we will be reporting and updating you. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Tubla, YouTube, Facebook. We are on all sad social media platforms. So we're out of here. Tim Russell, soccer as we like it, the main United version. Thank you for watching our videos and we shall see you very soon. Don't forget to subscribe by hitting that red button. From me, it's goodbye and good night.